So do our players. Uh, Pred and Plug, yep, yes it is, Plug. legendary Pred and Plug are going to be facing off in this first of three. Oh, why is Plug's name Pokemon's editor? I mean, it's keeping with the theme of alliteration we got with all the competitors, right? We got uh, Pred and Plug, right? So the double P, if you will. Oh, yo, the side swap into another side swap? All right, Plug, I see you. Let's rock this one forward. Lap coat A assist. Pred still rocking that assist. Little old school way. You don't see that too often these days just because it is a reflect cancelable uh, block string now that you have with there because it's key blast property. So you can super dash cancel, you can uh, reflect cancel out of it before the block's done fully ends. Fred, bring in the lap coat. He's got some pressure, messes up the cross up. Maybe a little rusty despite the fact they came in yesterday to win a money match against KJ Pixel. But it's good to see Fred back in competing shape and at least coming out to play again. Yeah, you actually beat me to mentioning it because I want to give a shout out to Daniel, of course, because he did put on that banger first seven between Pred and KJ yesterday, which uh, went quite close to the wire. But Pred coming out on top, even after what I could say is a bit of a break for him, and he is showing he's right back into the mix right there. Five bars already built, gonna cash those out from the bank straight away. And that will be Plug's blue crew and sparking down a very good point trade situation for Pred, where he brings his Gohan back to the point position as well to reset the team order. Lovely start for him, I'd say. Indeed so, right? And now Plug, you know, losing the blue coup is a bit of a deterrent, but still has the Nappa, which is a absolute terror in this batch of the game. Oh, word. Here we go. We get the level three knockdown. Got to see if Fred knows his Videl matchup knowledge. And if he can block with this mix. Deals with the low, 50-50, and we get cracked at the ankles. Videl says, listen, I'm going to wait for you to grow up, young man. Talk to me when you're in high school, okay? Matt said we'll come back to you later. Put put a um, little fold on the page at the top right there. As uh, Pred gets that Team Gohan knocked out, Plug is going to even things up. Two sticks of celery on both sides as well. Super Dash is in. Tries to confirm off of that straight hit confirm using the assist. Unfortunate and Plug is going to get a chance to survive right here. Good tech as well. Jump in. Pred actually gets caught out by that and right to the corner. We go with the wreckers in the setup. Oh, Plug, don't stop. Don't stop being a salesman already. No, please, it's too early for that. He does tech the DR. Both sides being able to show off their defense pretty well today. Does not reflect. You actually saw Fred was playing the next level mind game there, right? He paused, didn't actually go for the high-low. Wanted to see if Plug would reflect the assist. So Fred is already playing at those extra deep layers that the change to Labco does present with the A assist. Very true. I like this option to go for Labco level 3 here to get the side switch and secure the corner, which will allow for a good ah. block string in the overhead. Plug survives once again due to an unfortunate drop by Pred. Back to the full screen we go. The Sideman's rapidly approaching as well. Good use of the spin to deal with that. Putting the Sideman in the washing machine. Coming out clean. Plug has got to get Napa out of there somehow because the stick of celery has been dwindled down to just a single bite. But barely any health left. Oh, oh and you are go. gone! Gone, debuff not even mattered. Your whole life bar is a debuff. And now Legendary Pred, extra 21% damage on all of Labco 21 special moves. Excellent, just dash forward there too to evade the vanish and tag and assist. Plug is not getting cracked by these Dragon Rushers. I wonder when Pred is gonna start maybe trying to apply this as a bit of conditioning and go for a different option to bait out the tech. Possibly that is a good confirm from Plug right there, which is going to allow him to get the loop set up in the corner if he wants it. Just goes for the simple uh, combo action and then opts immediately for the level 3. Next hit should kill here with the amount of bar that he does have available. So Plug is going to go for this mix right here. 2-2-H. Two, two, the, the staple. Two, two. The trademark. Yeah, but a little too soon on that timing. Not able to pick anything up. Oh, we're just too far away. It looked like Plug tried to go for the auto combo tick throw, but the reflect caused Videl to get pushed out too far. And now Legendary Fred gets another combo on here. And he will tag in Lamaja 21 just to get Labco 21 some blue life back. Keep the healthiest character up front. After all, like Videl will probably need two touches to kill this Majin 21. Mm, probably even at a medium start, it won't be a push, but that is a fantastic air to air from Plog right there. The very tip of the heels catching that Majin 21, and Plog gets a side switch knockdown as well into the dash up level 3. What a sick route from him! because that will allow for the corner pressure. Next hit could be mixed up with the command grab as well. We'll have to see. Goes for the jump in low. Evades the tick throw as well, but then goes for the spot dodge. Plug, get the kill, please. Love of everything. Goes in immediately. Does not. Oh my God, didn't even need to vanish. I think got clipped anyway, but the great Sayamon was there. Hey, Videl, I did in fact grow up. Because like you hey, told me to. Hey, you remember how you said you needed a few more years? Hey. 
<laughs> and no, look at this book gets the next pickup as long as he doesn't drop it. As long as nothing catastrophic happens, plug. We'll take this game on the board. My God, what a sick Videl comeback in the 1v2. Yeah, um, some very solid fundamentals right there from Plug that I think secured that situation for him. Of course, that really nice air-to-air -air from pretty much full screen to secure that combo. Then the side switch after I get the Oki. Really just uh, quite a disciplined game from Plug, in my opinion, when he went down. I think he kind of burned a lot of resources around the start. You know, the sparking and the blue coup going down without much of a fight after that um, single hit from Pred. So maybe he needs to be a bit careful on the round start. Other than that, like, a very good game from him. Yeah, no, I would agree with that one. And we shouted out uh, Dan Hill uh, earlier as well for hosting the money match that kind of brought Pred back into the spotlight uh, for Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, I also have to shout him out again because he hosted a Dirty Den number four last year for rollback, and that's actually where Pred and uh, Plug got a chance to play before. Pred took that 2-0. That's the only game I got on the records currently with FGCombo.com, so maybe they played a little sooner than that before, but as it stands, this is like uh, Plug getting the first listed game. Ah, too far for the blue coup loops. I understand that pain. 4M for the stagger pressure. And ah, oh, the 2M, a little too much recovery there. So Fred will get a combo started with the new Team Gohan combos. We're going coast to coast. What a Going coast to just off the coast there. Feels like his plug does recover, but then Fred shows his own air-to-air -air skills off and gets a fantastic confirm, but he can't make it go all the way. That's twice we've almost done a whole coastal journey, but just got washed up at shore, not able to go all the way. Love the whiff punish on the whiff 2H from Prez. Hello. Absolutely insane. And I'm not even sure if that was actually teched out or not, because sometimes with the new, or newer, I should say, but he was old at this point, ability to install super jumps by holding the key blast button down. I find myself holding down the button, regardless of whether I'm jumping or not, just because I don't want to have to whiff a button again. So maybe Plug was holding that down, and that could have been a blue beat. Can't see right now until we got the combo counter fixed for spectators, so hopefully it's something in the next patch. We'll see. Maybe the quality of life will be there. Setting up the mix using the Napa assist right there. Not going to land. Pred some very good blocks in the challenge on the recce. You heard the counter sound effect as well. So Plug maybe trying to bait something out in that situation. Pred just going full aggro and fighting back. You love to see it. Level 3 as well. A very good round from him so far. Right. And creates a 50-50 with that assist. Plug will take the overhead straight to the pigtails. Now Legendary Fred should be able to get a kill. All right, man. All right, all right, all right. I said should. I did say should. I did say should. <laughs> Oh, Nappa is gonna get in. I like that. Just look how much blue life was there. Debuff. Hello. That was the nastiest throw. What the hell was that, Brett? Besides disgusting. Now Videl's brought back in. It's Team Gohan. It's gonna get the next hit. Legendary Pred will finish off the kill. And now it is a 1v3 situation plug with just solo Nappa and Sparking. It's a tall mountain to climb, but perhaps it's doable. Oh, there's one. Okay, gonna get the follow-up as well. Cyber's there to get the soft knockdown reset and keep Pred locked in place, which does force the sparking out of that situation. Oh, gets caught regardless. That's gonna be a massive amount of meter gain. Tries to reset. Plug is forced to use his sparking as well. Has to test his defense. Good double overhead block right there. And just to reset that situation, but even so, that timer is ticking rapidly, Mangaka, for that level 3 sparking. I know, but Plug was actually really patient with using his own spark, as well as using his defensive options with the guard cancel, because he waited for Pred's spark to wear off, so then Pred couldn't answer his guard cancel with an empty vanish for a full punish. So, Plug demonstrating not only just correct guesses on these 50-50s, but also just good system mechanic awareness of when he has to do what. Oh my god, that, that normal's a war crime, bro. <laughs> I think it's like, there is a no-fly zone above me. You are grounded, young mans and sirs and old middle-aged men. I'm bomboing you. That's what Lab Coat says whenever she presses 5M. My god, I, that, that normal makes me feel things. <laughs> like, what? You're above me? No. No, you're not. Have you Get looked at the tier there. list? I am at least top five. Get under. <laughs> like... Oh, my days. But that is going to be 1-1 one, one and a very convincing game for Pred there to get himself on the board and fight back, I have to say. A really good situation for him. I think the only weakness was a, a couple of dropped combos, but that was on both sides. Other than that, a really clean game. Plug is going to have to climb up the mountain a little bit and fight back in this short first of three sets. I mean, name a better duo. Blue Koo mains and dropping combos. You won't.
can't find it, man. Character is so frustrating to play sometimes because it requires so much precision with your inputs. And online can mess with that a little bit, but also just sometimes even just tournament situations or high pressure situations in general can really hold back some of the execution of these characters. We'll see what's up with that though. Still a strong character when you do execute for them. Oh, what a reflect bait though. We're not gonna even see more of this blue goo as legendary bread with the medium starter. Should have a kill here, but let's see if he can nip. There it is. Alright. Every time I say should. We can't use that word no more. Right, you know, it's, 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 like, it's like a revolving door. You expect that on one end, Pred's gonna get the hit and get the kill. Plug's gonna get uh, the hit and get the kill, but we only get halfway there. You know, it's a uh, myo circular about Frente, as Kofi would say. Oh, one, one, one. There we go. Pred still gets the kill. Just took an extra hit. I mean, it works out because because of that combo drop. Plug invested in the spark to try and keep Bluku alive, and now he's out both of those. Teams. Very true, there's the great same amount of lockdown, goes for the cross-up and the pressure coming, backs off, lovely press from Pred to buy himself some space and defense in the neutral, assist trade into the 2A mode, no the drop! Mangaka, the scrambled eggs right now are enough to feast people for their breakfast. Now listen man, I got called in because we got three Americans in this ladder, baby, and so we're gonna show you the land of drop opportunity. The only way that free men can. Oh god, plug with a good reversal wake up though, he's gonna get a combo started. But see, look at that, he doesn't get the next hit off that situation, you know? He doesn't understand the American way. He's on the wrong side of the tea party back in 1776. Man accidentally got auto-balanced, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> Plug right now on a sparkingless anchor Napa comeback is definitely not going to be a favorable situation for him to try and attempt as Pred loses that seven seconds of glory with the level one spark. 6M is blocked, good defense, and then catches him with the low, the heel flick into the pressure coming right off. Gonna build the third bar here, Mangaka. This is gonna be some fantastic Oki and possibly next hit and you're dead. Wait, what? That was another reset, Okaiba. Legendary Pred pushed the combo too far and Plug did not tech in the correct direction, did not hold back as well. And so, you know, welcome to America, baby. Land of opportunity, land that I love. Our resets, they're potent and they are optimal. That's just it. You know, we didn't even have a new mix. We just killed him with one combo. That's crazy. Who, who let this damage happen? Who, who, who let it? Who let it? <laughs> killed him with kindness, man. 2-1 the score. Legendary Pred already on set point. Absolutely out of nowhere with that reset. But you have to say, given the meter situation that he had, if it oh. did land, well, it was a guaranteed kill because, of course, he'd get another stomp to reset. If it was blocked, it's not really unfavorable either. So Plug getting caught there honestly was just a massive opportunity for Pred. Well done to capitalize on something so unexpected. Yeah, I think after game one, Legendary Pred probably dialed into a couple of tendencies that Plug wanted to have. Like against the Videl, we've seen a lot of reflex to sort of deny the situation with the tick throw. We've also been seeing jump back out of those things and just immediately contest. Like a lot of anti-throw techs coming through because, you know, you do have Blue Coup with the like command throw, unreactable. The medium the EX throw, definitely reactable, right? And then, you know, Videl, so with all this throw pressure, I think Pred is trying to scout that one out. He's got 2-1 lead, dashes forward to block the shoulder, now he's got to hold the pressure, but we don't tech the DR. This was an Achilles heel for him yesterday in the set with KJ Pixel. Mm, an interesting defensive weakness that could be exploited by a plug right there. As now Pred fires back on the blocks. So we're going to go for the God Cancel or bring Nappa in. Nice jump in and the overhead as well. Pred's going to take the DR this time. Much better defense immediately. Showing the adaptation. Floats over but calls the assist at the perfect time to get that hit. That was really godlike. Something he might not have seen because of screen positioning. But Pred showing just how aware of this game he still is. And it's a treat to watch. And he's going to go for the Vanish knockdown here as well. Wants to guarantee the situation. Chases that up tech with the JH, but the tag comes through. Plug with a short little combo. Finally lands the tick throw. Pred He's going to be put back into this corner off the side swap. But, you know, these two touches basically only worth a singular touch for Plug. So this Maja 21, fairly healthy still. But Pred will force his spark first and baits out Plug's zone. But here comes the next hit. And there's that sparking change from so many patches ago. Plug with the super dash gets a full pickup. He's going to go into an early level one super as well. Just to try and optimize the damage. You're dead. Oh, wait, no. He was, what he actually would, would have gotten that as well with the damage, that's so unfortunate. I didn't mean to jinx it, Plug, I'm sorry. What he actually oh, saved that the right idea. Oh, nice punish. 
There we go, right? I mean, again, the difference here, Fred drops a combo. It's almost like immediate reset. Plug drops a combo. That's an important kill that slips away. And again, the same situation. Fred is able to slip out of this offense. Finally, a full pickup here. Plug's committing to the full Vidal series. Just needs to finish the combo. Tags in Nappa. Here's for the knockdown. All right, now don't mess up a quarter circle input. I mean, you even had a dragon rush. you crazy. I would have simplified further, but I respect it. It's like, no, I practice my combos. I'm doing what I rehearse. If I go away from that, then I'm really going to mess myself up. So, but I'm for doing what you know. The Bedell C assist now. It's going to scoop. We tag in the blue. Man, blood. I would have lost my mind if you went into a loop there, but I also respect this. This is the correct play. <laughs> Now, if he went into a loop, Dad, I've actually just quit on principle. Like, I refuse to commentate under these conditions where Plug's trying to cause actual heart arrhythmia with his stress levels. But right now, he is putting Fred's defense on stress there. The instant transmission after the dive kick to actually evade that and then get the punish for the assist was godlike from Plug. That gives him screen position, that gives him the corner. And he has enough to go for an EX move mix-up right here, and Fred's got no spot to get out of this. This is prime killing position. Just gonna try and bait it out. What are we gonna get? Oh Face the DP. my god, let's go! He baits the DP. The uppercut is gonna oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, yes! All of my yes! Just for that extra bit of style points at the very end right there. We might not loop, but you know what? The hand can talk to you, son. That nah, was, nah. That was you, so you, know, you know when all those years ago when Wawa finished off that uh, set where he did the DR, fil finished off with a base good key blast in the air? That's what that felt like. My man was just like, oh, you lost? Yeah, stick my finger on the way out. Crazy. Bang! <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That was so slick and good. And I mean, all of that off of the um, the 2H mix-up, right, that plug went for with the blue coup. Fred tried to do the right thing by guard cancelling against it, but it timed it a little too late. The thing you have to do against that mix-up is that you have to be a bit more preemptive and do it when the 2H comes through. Because once Blue Coup commits the 2H and you block that normal, that's your ticket out. Because if he's going to be buffering a special, because he's not going to want to be, you know, negative a million after you block his 2H and it goes up in the sky. But depending on when you do it, right, the Napa Aesis was there to cover the active frames as soon as Fred got out of that vanish. Oh, here comes another scoop with the fingers. One loop. Nah, not even that. The height was a little funky right there. A second serving of a light loop, but it's very minuscule damage. Fred is okay to take those hits, I think. Yeah, ah, Plug really going over aggressive with those dive kicks and trying to find a stray hit confirm in the air. That Fred punishes, can't get the full confirm, but showcasing his reactions once again. But the C assist, actually a little bit of an Achilles heel. No way he confirmed into the loop from there. My man brought a serial ball from outer space and He's still been... filled it right up. He's been dropping the standard loops, but hits the sparking loop. That is pretty slick stuff, but a little bit more auto-timed, and it helps just stabilize some of those heights right now. So Plug trades the spark to take down Pred's team, Gohan, and now it's just up to Android 21. The key blast will connect. We do get the smash launcher. I think Plug was able to sneak into Cyberman Plant, though, so Pred's going to have to be wary about Vegeta Jr. in the background. There he is! Get him, Vegeta oh, Jr. Oh, my word. There we go. The Cyberman, the young partner in crime allowing Plug to fight back and take the corner right now. There's a reset incoming. Reflex it, but then gets caught. Oh my god, Plug, don't drop. You get the kill right here, please. A medium starter as well. Plug tried to bait the spark out from Fred. Fred will just eat the medium starter, lose oh lap code 21, and just like that, Plug is on the verge of sending Fred out of wanted upper bracket in only the first round. Red does have full life on this margin 21 and sparking ready to go at a moment's notice as well. So he has some great opportunities here, but Plug looking the most poised he has all set. Sparks out of the record to try and fight back. I like the option, but you've got 21 seconds to make something magic happen. Oh my God, that tail whip was almost beautiful, but he still finds the hit regardless. The mix, the blender is incoming, Mangaka. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get the level three knockdown. Not what it used to be, but with sparking as well as some of the absorption tools, Red could cook up something here. Go for very simple dash, very simple pressure, gets the cross up, the spot dodge! And Fred letting a kill slip away, that's terrible because that sparking timer is ticking down, sir. The 6M will hit, Legendary Fred takes down Videl, but as you can see by the flashing portrait in the upper left, Fred's spark is about to expire. This is very true, and there it goes. There's no more fire and flames to see Pred through. It's just you the should. raw margin 21 to get us to the end as Plug tries to find the hit. Instant transmissions plus death, so of course he gets the GM to continue the pressure. Tries to vanish, got cancel out. That's successful, nice. 
has to play this neutral so incredibly clean. Can zone Bluku with the key blast, but Bluku's shoulders can go through those. Yo! Oh, that's oh what you get for Tekken in place! Mid screen loop with the assist. Plug is gonna take this one up into the sky. It's not enough to kill, but you gotta hold this mix. And honestly, with that meter in the back pocket, Plug, do it. Cross up shoulder. It's not my finger. The it's not my finger. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah. Empty low. Mixed. Oh Mixed. my god, the empty low is all it Mixed. takes. Plug Mixed. surviving by the skin of his teeth. It started so rough for him as well, but Press out of nowhere, coming back. Hit.